Well, hello, race car and race fans. Welcome back to the channel where it really is all about racing. In this particular episode, we're going to take a look at a 2017 McLaren 650S GT3, the number 42 of Straka Racing. Now, compared to Spark packaging, TSM models are really quite simple. The boxes are all the same. They look a lot like Spark, except they're a little bit larger. They are open-ended on the front to see the front of the car, on the rear to see the rear of the car, and the, and the backs of all the models that I have look exactly like this with a TSM model, true scale miniatures on the back. Now, the, the car has come on these rather nice-looking plastic white bases. I swear, they almost look like marble. They're beautiful. The car comes enclosed with an acrylic jewel box, a rather large one. And the bottom of the car has had this felt finish. Now, this can be removed, and there are screws to remove the car from the base if you wish to do so, something that I never do. So what do you know about the McLaren 650S? It was developed by Andrew Kirklady with the CRS Racing Team in 2014 to compete in the 2015 LM GTE regulations at the 2016 24 Hours of Le Mans. However, the car never made it and never competed at Le Mans in its history. McLaren features a mid-mounted 3.8-liter McLaren twin-turbocharged V8 capable of producing about 493 horsepower, less than the road-going 650S due to homogulation. Now, the biggest success for McLaren 650S was winning the 2016 Liquid Molly Bathurst 12-hour. Driver Shan Van Gisbergen set a new lap record of 201.567 on February 7th of 2016. He is not the driver of this particular car, however. Now, Straka Racing is a British racing team founded by Peter Hardman as a platform for Nick Laventis. The team is based at the Silverstone Circuit, Northamptonshire, England. The 2017 team competed in the Blanc Pond GT Series with four McLaren 650 G3Ss with factory support. The drivers of the 2017 McLaren 650 S GT3, this number 42 car, are Nick Leventis of England, the LMT winner of the 2010 24 Hours of Le Mans, Craig Fleming of England, and I do not know much about him. If anybody does, please let me know. Another driver named Webb, also from England, I don't even know his first name, couldn't find any information on it. If anybody has, please let me know. And Lewis Williamson of England as well, a Formula One test driver for McLaren. Now, as a side note, in 2019, Nick Leventis tested positive for banned substance and was banned from competition for four years. He subsequently retired from motorsports. And in 2020, the team was shut down and all assets were sold to United Auto Sports. All right, now let's take a look at this gorgeous car. What I like about this particular car is this flat black finish and the yellow accents that you have on it. If you look real closely, you can see the carbon, wire, carbon fiber weave really nice on this mirror. Also note the cool silver grill inlaid on the side of the car there. The wheels are black with Pirelli on it. You can barely see the rotors or the caliper beneath it. I think it gives it kind of a mystique-ish looking look. And being a TSM model, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the carbon fiber wing along the uh, uh, the the panel here. You can see the fuel uh, intake valve there. It's almost impossible to see the names of the drivers uh, as they're very, very small. And they're actually below the driver's window here on the door panel. Something you don't see very often. Now, the front of the car, I think, is absolutely stunning. I love the way that the uh, the headlights wrap around there. Uh, it looks really, really sharp. This massive front carbon uh, splitter with the yellow accents and the stripes on, I think, are really striking. It has absolutely gorgeously and nicely inlaid grills on there. You also see the tow hook right there. Now, the passenger side looks much like the driver's side. One thing I've noticed, take a look at the mirrors. I love this yellow circle that they have on the front of it. I don't know if it gives it some aerodynamic advantage or what, but damn, it looks good. 
Now, the rear of the car might be one of the most striking features. The massive rear diffuser looks really, really good. The beautiful silver grille there. Uh, you have your exhaust valves, which are actually right here. And your tail lights are kind of whited out. They look really sharp. The black with silver accents looks amazing. And I love this huge rear wing that says Straka on it. And if you look closely in here, you can actually see the engine underneath this clear engine cover with the, um, with the grooves in it uh, for airflow and to cool the engine. And you've got one aerial on the top of the car with those cool yellow uh, arrows. All right, folks, well, that wraps it up. Tell me what you think about this absolutely beautiful car. Until next time, we'll see you later.